Hello everyone. I hope and pray that you are well. If you're watching this on Tuesday, January the, January the 6th, it is Epiphany. And just want to think a little bit about that word, Epiphany, uh, which means appearance or a manifestation. Um, and in church history, uh, Epiphany is, has always been about the revelation of Jesus Christ. Now, in ordinary speech, when we say, I had an epiphany, we mean suddenly something became clear to me, or uh, I see, see something now that I hadn't seen before, or uh, somebody um, turned on the light for me in some way, shape, or form. Uh, and, I mean, without naming any names, here are some recent epiphanies that I've become aware of in people. Uh, one was the epiphany... Uh, that uh, the division symbol, you know, the mathematical, the, the division symbol uh, is, is just a blank fraction with the two dots replacing the numerator and the denominator. Uh, another epiphany that I became aware of is that, uh, that the first episode of a, a show is called the pilot because it's the first time it is on air. Uh, now, and then the third epiphany that I became aware of, again, nameless, um, I heard somebody realize that the phrase, uh, if you're not there, you're square, you know, when you say that to somebody, if you're not there, you're square, right, it comes because you're not around. Anyways, when we think about epiphany as it relates to the church and the liturgical calendar, uh, it's how the church remembers uh, and how each one of us remembers uh, how God has made himself clear to us, that, that God shines on us. The brightness of God shines on us, and even as we saw this past Sunday, on the nations. Uh, but just like everyday epiphanies, um, the epiphany of Jesus Christ can sometimes fall into the shadows. We don't always realize what it is we're, what is being revealed to us. I love how the Christmas star this year appeared, right? Uh, you know, actually this confluence of, of Jupiter and Saturn uh, in the sky, this, this Christmas star appeared in a way that it hadn't in 800 years. And I loved how that Christmas star um, ushered in Christmas this year um, with the brightness of the heavens, uh, reminding us, of course, of a star some 2,000 years ago. Uh, the epiphany of Jesus Christ still, today, sometimes kind of falls into the shadows, and, and we will need some help to remember God's appearance to us. Um, what do we do when that star disappears from view, when it's blocked for some reason? What, you know, since the appearance of the Christmas star, um, it's been a, a wee bit cloudy in Terrace, right? It, there haven't been a lot of, you know, great stargazing nights. Uh, we can go weeks in the winter here without seeing stars. And, and seeing the stars literally does open up the heavens for us. And so when we can't see the stars, we will do well to light a candle. Uh, and in order to, to kind of lean on this epiphany, to, to lean on this revealing of, of who Jesus Christ and his salvation, we will do well to, to practice our faith, especially during these challenging COVID times. And so how will you, during these times, light a candle and pray? How will you light a candle and, and allow scripture uh, to reveal God to you? How will you and with whom will you um, uh, fellowship? And in what new ways will you be drawn into fellowship during these times? Uh, when will you participate in worship? I mean, how will you light a candle to remind you of the star? One of the scriptures that the church has long held dear during Epiphany is this passage from Revelation 22. I'll read a few select verses uh, where John reveals to us another revelation. Jesus says, look, I'm coming soon. My reward is with me and I will give to each person according to what they have done. 
I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to give you this testimony for the churches. I am the root and the offering of David. I am the bright morning star. And so, friends in Christ, uh, this uh, epiphany, uh, this whole year, um, set your sights by the bright morning star. Um, everything else pales in comparison. Set your sights by the light of Jesus Christ himself and, and light a candle. Do a variety of things to remind yourself of the bright morning star which casts out all darkness. The peace of Christ be with you all.